have been well trained. No, you don't have to carry a sword to be powerful. No. I won't fail you. Oh, do not. I'm not afraid. There is no trouble. We are back with another game commentary from the Chance Cube. We have Count Dooku and FN2199 on the left facing off the uh, infamous uh, FN2199 Unkar First Order Stormtrooper deck. Uh, both the players tie for the initial roll-off. So it looks like uh, the Count Dooku player on the left will be taking shields, while the player on the right will keep their battlefield. And the first card to go down, of course, Imperial Inspection, that card that's uh, dangerous for anyone who plays against it. Got to watch out for those uh, upgrades that are too cost or less being played in the field because they have a tendency to go back quickly. Uh, we're going to go ahead and drop our friends in low paces quickly, uh, examine the entire hand, and uh, get rid of that dug in, which is always a good card to have. Fiber Knife, Ambush Action, rolls in a blank. We're going to have to... See if he's going to replace that with another card. Pill Inspection. Not a fun card to play against, unfortunately, uh, for the Dooku player. Go ahead and gaining a resource. That's one resource on the left and two on the right. Uh, rolling an Unkar. You get a resource and a blank. Never want to see those blanks. Not enough to fire off Unkar's ability. So playing a smart game here with the extra resource, go ahead and, and uh, rolling in the right baton and firing off two damage quickly to Unkar. That's a good move to go ahead and target Unkar first because Unkar is going to have that uh, crazy ability to get those resources and want to get rid of that ability quickly. Uh, Stormtrooper rolls in a two range damage while FN rolls in a shield and two melee uh, and then re-rolls the right baton for another uh, melee damage with a cost. Gaining a resource on the right, uh, pitching to reroll on the left, and looks like a couple of couple of blasters there and some melee damage, uh, which is a good move considering that he had no resources to play. So he rolled in the holdout blaster, going ahead and resolving that shield. Now he has an ambush action. We'll wait and see what happens there. Go ahead and uh, do the two damage to FN, getting rid of those shields. To the form melee, heading over to Unkar. Using that shield to block one of those. FN rolling a modified two. You never want to see those modified sides out at this point in the game. Uh, not much left that he can roll in to resolve with those, uh, but he is going to use Unkar's ability to discard that last card, uh, which looked to be four solution and giving uh, Unkar one extra resource. So the battlefield we're playing on is the Moss Eisley spaceport. Uh, it looks like Count Dooku has claimed the battlefield. Uh, and in this next round, he enraged to gain himself a resource. And then uh, Dooku himself blocking that damage. So it's a nice combo there uh, to enrage Dooku and not really take too much damage from doing so. Uh, both players taking their time here. It looks like we're going to throw in uh, big guns on FN, rolling out two damage, uh, bringing FN up to a 
total of three. It's always interesting to see a dice being used as damage counters instead of damage counters themselves. Almost functions like a damage dial in a way. It's less stuff on the board to be cluttered with, so that's, that's one way to do it. Uh, replacing the big guns with Riot Baton, which we all know and love. Uh, and he can't resolve that because when you choose to reroll that die, uh, you lose FN's ability to go ahead and resolve that. So the lightsaber came out on FN, uh, did two unblockable damage, but that lightsaber die should not be in the pool if I'm not mistaken, because they should have been resolved when it rolled out, which is an unfortunate mistake because it is going to give the player on the left a slight advantage having all rolled in damage yet again. Uh, so Unkar is going to focus the right baton to a three for a dollar. And killing Unkar with the remaining range damage there. So Unkar is gone. That effect is no longer going to give him any advantage but he does uh he did get some resources out of him early on in the game so i wonder if that's going to be enough to keep the game alive let's use the best defense to give three damage to his stormtrooper to remove two of those uh scary dice that are on the table so uh even if that lightsaber shouldn't have been in the field uh, it did not do much damage. Uh, no harm, no foul. And uh, the Stormtrooper rolls into range, which is always a nice thing to see. Dooku pulling one melee out. And putting that on FN. FN's always nice because uh, the, the, he has to roll in a lot of dice uh, before... Uh, later on in the game. So he is he is a character that can play a little slow, uh, but in that slowness, you're getting off a lot of damage because of that. Uh, on the left, not many options left this turn. Uh, FN sitting at eight damage, uh, Count Dooku at one. Uh, FN on the right, sitting only at four damage and has enough damage and resources uh, to get rid of... Uh, the FN on the left. Both players taking their time to think here. I mean, the, this is one of those critical decision points that could uh, make or break the game. Uh, it was not enough to kill him. That was my mistake. Uh, it looks like it was only two for a cost. Pitch to reroll, got a blank, and the round is over. Doing the upkeep phase, returning once again. Unfortunately, it looks like uh, Imperial Inspection has not had much use this game. Uh, it's definitely a card, uh, when you play it, you want to get some use out of it. Uh, but at this point, uh, the Dooku team doesn't have, any doesn't have any upgrades on the table that could make use of that card. So uh, he's pretty well protected for Imperial Inspection at this point, uh, having gotten rid of all his... Uh, two and less upgrades early on in the game. I replace a right baton with a right baton, uh, going ahead and hitting for two damage early on. It really is anybody's game at this point because Count Dooku does have a lot of staying power. Uh, of course, a Viber Knife. Uh, getting an early resource, which could be a deciding factor. Uh, again, replacing the Viber Knife with a Viber Knife. Rolling back in, uh, unresolvable modified melee damage. Still has an ambush action and can go yet once more.
both these players taking a lot of time to think through this deck. Both of them playing a version of FN, uh, but each one functioning differently uh, in what they're here to do. It almost seems like the uh, Dooku FN combination's uh, primary goal. Uh, not only to try and do some melee damage with Dooku, uh, but to use Dooku uh, to get some staying power to keep Ethan alive just that much longer. Also could run a little bit as a decoy, although anytime anybody sees Ethan on the table, Ethan generally becomes a target. So it fired off the damage to kill off FN. Uh, smart move on the Dooku's team to uh, leave redeployable weapons on that side. Uh, so now Dooku is fully loaded uh, with that late play of the Viber Knife. Uh, able to reroll that Riot Baton, which is always a nice little bonus for that card. Uh, so we're going to best defense. Uh, doing three damage to his own character, most likely the Stormtrooper. Uh, it has to be the Stormtrooper. And getting rid of two of Dooku's die. Uh, leaving on the field a couple melee die and a resource. Not enough to kill him. Uh, it would be enough to get rid of that Trooper, should he so choose. Uh, or he could go straight for FN and try and... Yep. So he is choosing to get rid of that Trooper now uh, with the one... It was... It made sense. That gets one die off the table. Always nice to late roll in by FN to see if we can get some damage that's going to turn the tide of this battle. And it looks like we have uh, two melee, plus two melee, and a resource. Uh, good call there. And of course, uh, with the Viber Knife on the table, it will eat right through Dooku's shields. A battlefield they're playing on Mos Eisley Spaceports. Kind of, kind of a nice one. It doesn't really do too much harm to either player. Uh, but you do have to be careful because that one gaining of a resource each turn could cost one the game, uh, depending on how that rolls. So he goes ahead and does the four unblockable damage. Aduku does gain a shield. I mean, why not? It is his ability, and he might as well... Uh, make use of it just in case that Viber Knife does get removed in a future turn. You want to make sure uh, he's shielded up. It does look like he discarded a Boundless Ambition uh, to get that shield, which is an interesting choice because Boundless Ambition uh, has a tendency of being an MVP in a lot of these decks. Uh, but without any dice to re-roll, a late play of that, not going to do him much good. So uh, fresh hand, all the dice on the table. Uh, we're hitting uh, several melee damage. It looks like a total of six or seven melee damage with a cost, uh, which is enough to kill off FN and give Count Dooku the win in this game. Uh, nice back and forth battle between the two players. Uh, Unkar FN Trooper is a favorite these days uh, in terms of the ability to pilot it, but it is a very uh, deck that requires a lot of skill to play through towards the end. And uh, it's a nice showing by both players to uh, nice back and forth. I want to thank you for watching this game and listening to the commentary. And as always, thank you for checking out the Chance Cube.